Like most people, my day just starts off with a cup of coffee. Just get some cream. Yeah, sorry, that's just for Fridays. My typical day generally starts uh, pretty early, given that I'm overseeing a region that is 9 to 10 hours apart. Usually 5.30 to 9 a.m. is the busiest time of day for me. Just connecting with uh, some of our clients, with uh, partners, as well as with my team in Dublin. So it's definitely uh, a lot of coffee in the morning. Following that, it's just catching up with emails as well as with our team here in Vancouver. So the last few months not traveling and not having to commute back and forth to the office every day, it's meant that I've actually been having a lot more time on my hands. So after work, I've found myself kind of picking up old hobbies and, and some that are completely new, which are a surprise even to myself. One of them is uh, I've become an obsessive gardener. I've uh, killed just about every single weed in my garden. I've since picked up uh, mountain biking, which has been about a 10 year hiatus and it feels great to be doing it again. And uh, also my guitar, picked it up, barely knew how to play it, but uh, over the last couple of months, I've had a lot of time to learn everything from scratch again. So it's been kind of the silver lining in this whole last few months that we've been all going through. So as a kid, I had a dog called, did you guess, Frankie. He's also a golden retriever, a very big one as well. And I always wanted to relive that experience of having a, a another Frankie in my life, so this is Frankie Jr. Uh, and funnily enough, I was actually away on a trip to Colombia when we got a call about him, and uh, I had my sister go to visit uh, the dog to see if he was a good fit for us, and what did you know? She actually ended up getting her dog herself, so we have uh, Frankie's brother, he's called Nemo, and uh, they're best buds, so it's really perfect timing, all here at home together, and life's good. The last few months have been incredibly busy for libraries. Like many other industries, they are heavily impacted with what's happened around COVID-19. And what we are seeing is libraries going the extra mile really to ensure that their services remain open to their patrons, uh, despite the fact their locations are physically closed. So our job has been working with our library partners to ensure that we can continue to provide our services remotely uh, during this closure and we believe this is incredibly important because our service being that it is press and media is that we can keep people informed around what's happening with COVID-19 or whether it may be the fact they just want to disconnect and enjoy some of our leisure content that we have on Press Reader. I know I had my expectations going into this industry eight years ago about your stereotypical librarian, what it might be like to work with them. You know, the one I had in high school was one of the scariest people I've ever known. But I have to say, it's been a real pleasure working with uh, these people. They are some of the hardest working, highly educated people that you might meet, and they're extremely passionate about what they do. So I just want to give you guys all a thumbs up and uh, keep up the good work. Yeah.